of uh, converting a singular noun to duo by adding any ending or any ending depending whether it's nominative it is any ending or any accusative or genitive ending now we need to look at the demonstrative pronoun of have and have he velika and tilka and see what will happen to them if we want to use them uh, in a dual form as well so let's do the have and have he first so we have 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 this is a singular now ha, that becomes have any is similar to what we did before so we're at length in alif and known with kesra or have any ha they have any so we're going to write yeah instead of alif have any have any so have have any have any what about have he let's look at the have he have the he now the logic is telling you you want to say have the honey but no it's not have the honey for dual for have he instead is ha ha so we have this alif there ha and then becomes ta ni ha ta ni ha ta ni this is the one of the few areas that we actually pronounce that lengthening remember this is ha the is actually we say ha lengthening there but we don't write it ha the he also there is a alif there which we don't write but when you want to say dual for ha they need these are two cars for instance you will say ha you you actually have to write that lengthening alif ha tani so yara tani for instance or ha tani so again you write it you write that alif as well ha tani ha tani ha tani so have he ha tani ha tani now let's move to the velika velika is a masculine velika that is velika becomes velika all that is here on page uh, 30 30 37 so you have your velika and velika and velika so velika becomes the again you write that alif vernica let's put that in red vernica vernica and vernica they let's write they ni vernica so velica vernica and velika what about tilka what's happened to tilka tilka as feminine which is that is so tilka and the same thing you say tanika you have your uh, uh, tilka tanika and tanika Ta tilka ta put that alif as well in red ta ni ka and tainika tai 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 ni and ka so here we are duo in arabic is not commonly used of course when you are writing and when you want to speak properly and following the modern standard arabic grammar this is what you need to say although you don't really hear it such to the extent that some people say tanika what's that is that arabic tanika tanika it's because it's not commonly used people they say i've never heard that before but it is true yes this is have 
hadhani hadhaini hadhihi hatani hataini dhalika dhanika dhainika tilka tanika antainika now let's do exercise 29 together orally hadha muallimun this is a teacher a male teacher a singular this is a teacher how do you say these are two male teachers so these from hadha becomes hadhani so you say hadhani and then the teacher muallimun becomes muallimani you say hadhani muallimani so hadha muallimun hadhani muallimani o hadhaini muallimaini everything would match is yeah so you say hadha muallimun hadhani muallimani hadhaini muallimaini if you are using feminine you say hadhihi muallimatun hatani muallimatani hataini muallimataini dhalika muallimun dhanika muallimani dhainika muallimaini feminine tilka muallimatun tanika muallimatani tainika muallimataini on that page the next is sadiqun you say hadha sadiqun hadhani sadiqani hadhaini sadiqaini feminine hadhihi sadiqatun hatain hatani sadiqatani hataini sadiqataini dhalika sadiqun that is a male friend Thanika sadiqani those are two a male friends tha that's it thanika sadiqani thainika sadiqaini again those are two male friends that's the accusative case ending tilka sadiqatun tanika sadiqatani tainika sadiqataini that is exercise 29 done with you orally now go and experiment as well good luck and well done ahsantum goodbye ma'a salama ila al-liqa fi amanillah